Yeah. The yep. Mandragoon. Oh, Battle Mandragoon. Attack. Activate Alistair to get over your damn ultimate falcon. Attack for game with Dragoon. Yes. Yes. The channel is all mine. Yes. I shall take over this KCC and finally rule the world. Hey, Eclipse, open up his Indo Pro. Let me see his decks. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Ah. Oh. Open up his decks. God damn it, finally. He, he, what the, is this? Chat effects? What the fuck? No. Is that's really bad. Dino? No. What the fuck is he playing? The fuck? No wonder his, this deck sucks. Stop playing all the, the fucking keystone. The hell? Let's see. Dino? He plays Dino Wrestlers? The please tell me he hasn't played this deck yet. Raid Raptor? Hey, I don't know how this deck works. This should be fine. Shinui, eh, sure. It's Samoric. The fuck is this? One of the best decks in this fucking format. And he's not even playing it right. I I need to change this right now. But, wait, I have a ping? I have to, to wait. Oh, his, his opponent wants to fight right now? Fuck. Uh... I guess, I guess I have to wait to fix all of his decks and outdo his opponent. Uh, it, it, every uh, fuck, how does he how do these videos go? Uh, he does like going over the, the matchup. Hold up, let me open up this this doc. Uh, his opponent, Pikachu. Ah, Pikachu's his team consists of Madoche, eh, eh, the Fluffles. The Gen 1 Pendulum Package. Ah, yes. Very good deck. Uh, Harpies, Far Hires, Mist Valley, Ghost Ogre, Abyss Dweller, Crackdown, and Raigeki have two copies. So, hmm. How am I going to win? Let's see. Uh, this Dino deck is kinda salvageable. Uh, I guess I'll play that. Uh, the Raid Raptor deck looks fine. And I guess I'll play Shira Nui? Uh, I. I guess I I I expect him to bring uh I don't know Madolce Fluffle and Furhaya uh, something like that. I mean yeah, I don't know. I I just got here. Uh enjoy the game I guess. Uh yeah. But I I did good this time, right? I did good Eclipse, right? Eh, yeah, fuck off. I don't need your opinion. Eh. Match one is Dinosaur versus Fur Hire. Pikachu is going first. He summons Seal and uses Rookie to summon Beat. He then mayhems to summon Seal back in search of a fan. He links into Falgo, summoning Wiz from deck. Feel the wrath of my meta deck, baby! Chu built this deck like shit. We start by activating Lost World, then Mist to summon Arco. We link into Anima, crashing into Fulgur to get into the graveyard. We activate Pill, which gets negated by Wiz, so we're forced to pass. Because Cyclones are lost world, it's not like we have two in hand already. Then moves to battle, forcing our IDP to summon to a fail from graveyard, staving off his offense for the turn. Baby off the top. God damn it, Chu! We swing into the token to pop a petite, summoning pink and passing. What the fuck? Pika activates Raigeki, which forces our pink to pop the Fulgur. He summons Ghost Ogre and makes BLS swinging in. An Arco off the top just might win us this game. We summon Arco, popping the baby to summon Ovi. Searching UCT, we link Climb into Pentastag and summon UCT, then pill for Quatlas. Thinking the face down is something that might stop our push, like. I don't know, Mirror Force, we swing into the Egg Token, which gets met with Storming. We chain Quatlis to negate, and Pika uses Ghost Ogre, essentially getting rid of both our big fucking dinosaurs. We swing in with Pentastag and pop the wrong fucking card in deck. Chu's mind is very, very bad. We will ignore it. Uh, unfortunately, we lose because Pika swings in a lot of damage, and Chu's main decking Prohibition. I don't know why. 
Getting to wood going first, utilizing OV plus the last word, going through the motion to summon some more. At least he's playing the right fucking version. With the extra petite in hand, we're able to add a Pankard Tops to the end board, and we build for Qualis as to give us right Geki protection. He starts by summoning Beat and uses the effect to summon Donpa, which threatens our statue lock, so as Donpa goes for its effect, we're forced to pop it with Pank. This somehow keeps Pico off of dealing with our board, despite Beat being in attack mode, and we're able to take game 2 easily with a pill for UCT. Game 3, Pika elects to go first once more, utilizing the swarming of fur hires to get to Fogo, Rafael, and a few small fur hires. And with this hand, it looks like we can win, despite Chu's terrible deck. We fossil dig for Misk, activating the effect to essentially dodge Rafael and negating Ovi. We summon Pankletops, then summon Arco, popping Petite to summon Ovi, searching Baby. We make Anima to steal Fogo, which gets met with Ghost Ogre, which just turns Anima into a removal spell. We misk engrave to summon baby and use Ovi to pop baby, summoning baby to fuck around a little bit. We we love to troll around here in Meta Man Incorporation. We make Pentastag, pilling for UCT and attack for game, winning the match 2-1 despite choose horrible deck choices. Match 2 is Shiro Nui vs Fluffle. We start by activating Zombie World, then using Prohibition to blind call Scythe, as it's the only card that really prevents us from getting into the bear loop. We summon Solitaire, going into Unizombie, we dump Bloom from deck, summoning Bolin, and then pitch Bear from hand. In standby, Bear comes back and Pika summons Dog, activating its effect which gets met with our Bell. With essentially no plays to make through our Bellodrock, we're able to control the game and eventually swing for lethal. Game 2, Pika just sets a card passing, so he summons Solitaire using the effect to summon Uni. We dump Banshee from deck which gets met with Ogre. Luckily we've drawn the foolish burial, sending Bloom. We send Bale and swing in, which gets met with Storming Mirror Force and a quick surrender from Pika on the draw, giving us a 2-0 win. Match 3 is Raid Raptor vs Modolce and Pika is going first. He summons Petting Sessor, using the effect to summon Pudding from deck. He summons Angeli, tagging out for a hoot cake, banishing Angeli for Miss and Gelato. Adding a Chateau, he overlays for Gas Souffet and links for Sistart, using the effect of Glass to load up his hand again, then stacks Chocolate a la mode on top of it. We utilize our standard combo to get to Wise Plus Raider's Knight, using Knight's effect to rank to Arc Rebellion, then Arc Rebellion to get to 10,000 attack. We try to swing for lethal, but are met with a storming mirror force. In main 2, we soul shape for Red Falcon, popping chocolate a la mode, and skip force to satellite cannon falcon, wiping his back girl. Deal with that, you bitch. Pika summons some weird cat, summoning Hoot Kate from hand. We trigger Sanctum, summoning Scythe and locking him from the extra for this turn. He who cakes for mess in gelato, adding Chateau. He pettings into pudding and swings into our scythe. We use satellite cannon falcon to lower it to zero, but pudding's effect bounces our falcon after battle. We once again utilize our raid raptor combos to climb to our rebellion, absorbing all of the fucking attack on field and swinging in for 15,000 damage. Wow, no wonder Chu likes this deck is big numbers. Game 2, Pika goes first once more, using Petting Sessor and Hand Jelly to make the same port as before, which is, seems to be very easy to beat with this deck true like so much. We utilize the standard Raid Raptor combo to climb to Wise plus Rebellion, and actually need to forget for a split second that Madoche spells can't be targeted, so we fumble around and very easily fuck up a very possible OTK. We still swing for quite a bit of damage and summon Baguska in main 2, which forces a surrender from our opponent in the end. Ah yes, just as I suspected, we beat our opponent one step closer to taking over this league. Yes. Uh, I guess we'll do what Chu usually does. We'll go over the standings, even though it doesn't matter. We're making playoffs anyway. I don't care. We're winning the entire league with me at the helm. Anyway, uh, the standings for Obelisk Blue, which seems to be the the one we're in. Uh, the Kylo is at first place, 7-1, plus 26. I can't believe Chu lost to this guy. Easy, easy, easy beat. Uh, we, it, we might fight him in playoffs and I'll beat his ass then. Uh, and this is in second place, 
six and two plus eighteen. We are in third place. Fuck, we are so low. Uh, six and two plus twelve. Uh, Bread Boy brings up the fourth. Uh, Onyx is fifth. Bigger Juice is sixth. Uh, Shiny is seventh. And Brett is eighth. And then in Slifer Red, we have Leo. I don't know how he beat Leo. He, with with my power, maybe. Maybe he siphoned me. I don't know. Uh, Leo is first. Trey is second, which is our next week opponent. I'll beat his ass. Uh, CB is third. Uh, the, the Fish Man is fourth. Uh, the Joey. Uh, Joey Wheeler uh, is fifth. Uh, Shadow is sixth. Uh, Evie is seventh, and uh, John Paul Joestar is eighth. Uh, yes. Uh, that is the the. Yes, Meta Man's not good at this kind of thing. Uh, I yes. Outro. I uh, in bye bye. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Really helps the channel. If you want to see more, you know where to look. Bye bye.